This is KNEV.TV weather from the KNEV Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. Well, how about uh, partly cloudy skies as we go through the evening? It'll clear out later on tonight. Look at these temps getting brutally cold down there in the uh, double digits below zero. So we're going to see cold temperatures tonight. Wind chills 20 to 30 below. Temps are going to start moderating tomorrow, and we really don't see any big storms coming our way. We do have wind chill advisories out uh, for a large portion of the western two-thirds of Nebraska, portions of eastern Colorado, northwestern Kansas, and all of eastern Wyoming. These wind chill advisories run tonight through tomorrow morning, so we're going to continue to deal with cold wind chills out there uh, again tonight into tomorrow. Yesterday's high, five. Barely made the map there. A morning low of zero, and as we take a look at uh, Precip, we've got 13 hundredths more, an inch 54. That puts us just 11 hundredths short of our all time record for January of an inch 65 set back in the 1890s. As we look at the month, it's going to go down as a colder than normal month. As you can see, just a couple of days that we had above normal temperatures, lots of below normal temperatures, and today was as well. Tomorrow will also be, but again, a very wet January. Look at all the days that we picked up moisture and uh, precip chances. Good thing we got them when we did because there's nothing coming our way. As you can see, it's going to be uh, very quiet out there. Winds are going to be up at times and unfortunately the snow was light enough that it's going to blow around. So we get this 20 to 30 mile an hour winds uh, again uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, then Friday and then Monday could see some blowing snow concerns around the area. That's really our only concern though here for the rest of the week. Cold air has invaded all of western uh, portions of the region. Um, the United States, you can see this Arctic blast taking freezing temperatures clear down into northern Texas. Two in Denver, it's three in Colby, 19 in Topeka. That's one of the warmest temperatures that we can find. Already 11 below zero right now in Sioux Falls. Closer to home, four in Scotts Bluff, six in Shadron. That's one of our warmer temperatures. Uh, three in Ogallala, it's below zero in Sydney and Kimball and winds are light, but it doesn't take much wind to drop these wind chills down. And that's certainly what we have going on uh, with some winds out there. Our wind chills sitting right now in that vicinity of eight to 15 to near 20 below zero in some locations, colder up in Casper and Elk Mountain where it's 24 below. Future cast is quiet. Not much going on out there tonight. We're going to see mostly uh, clear skies and quiet weather conditions. That's why temperatures are going to fall as far as they're going to tonight is it's going to remain clear out there that with clear skies, light winds, temperatures are going to have no problems falling tonight in the single and double digits below zero. And even as we go through the day tomorrow and into tomorrow night, early Wednesday morning, we remain clear and quiet out here across the area. Lows overnight, cold here in the North Platte River Valley, double digits below zero from Douglas through Guernsey, Torrington, Scotts Bluff, Bridgeport, uh, Oshkosh, and up in the Alliance area, single digits below zero elsewhere. Highs tomorrow in the uh, 20s, so we start to warm up a little bit, but certainly not enough that it's going to make much in the way of difference, and we don't have any snow coming here for us over the next uh, couple of days. Let's take a look at our forecast then tonight. Some clouds this evening, otherwise clear and cold. 13 below zero for our low. Tomorrow it is going to be sunny. That's the good news. Still chilly, but a lot warmer than where we were today. We could get into the upper 20s. And then our seven day forecast, we continue to warm 30s and 40s uh, as we go Groundhog Day on Thursday. 40s for the weekend, just in time for the Friday and Saturday KNEV Farm and Ranch Expo. So things look pretty good to end the week as we're going to Finally catch our breath here and get uh, five to seven days of some quiet weather here across the High Plains.